Welcome to this demo of GitHub Copilot. Let me just show you how this works in a TypeScript project. So it will just assist you and the typical tasks you would have to go to Stack Overflow to, you can replace this by the assistance of GitHub Copilot. Now let me just show you. It's important that you start with your commenting what you are going to do and then the assistant knows what to give you back. So let's say define a constant. You see it gives also these auto suggestions for let's say the print items. So what if I would want a constant from my local storage and I want to get print items and I want to add print items. You know, this could be some typical use case. So let's say const print items would be local storage dot and you see it, it also, okay, let's say these are my print items and I could just say, no, I want it to be like this. Okay, so these are my print items and now I could say like add an item to the print queue. Okay, that's what I want. So I want a method. So when someone clicks on a button, I want to have items that that item added to my printing queue. Okay, so the method would be like function add item. Yeah, that would do it. And then you, you see I'm get, getting these auto suggestions constantly. So yes, I want when a, someone adds an item, I want it to be added to the print queue. So probably I would want, you know, an item with ID or maybe this could be an, an object. So why not take an object called book? So book, that would be of type book, for example. And here you see it gives me this suggestion like, okay, you would like to, again, you would probably, and I, I can just hit tap and then it gives me this suggestions like, okay, first you need to get the print items, right? Yeah, this is true. So if I have print items, which it will get from my const, then parse them as a JSON because these are like, um, these are added to the local storage, um, you know, serialized. So then parse it and otherwise just start a new array. Okay. And then I would like to add it to my printing queue. Okay. And then set the local storage. So set the print items with a new array. Okay. This is nice. So I probably need to define my book right here. So define a book class. Sorry, this needs to be a comment, of course. So, define a book class. Class book, yes, that's what I want. And then, oh, you see? This is again giving me this auto completion. Yes, when I create a book object, I want it to have a title, an author, and, and for example, let's say an ID with a number. what if my items already have the book in it so so i would say check if the item already exists in the print queue yes if print items so again i'm getting these method like okay that's some typical use case what if it already exists yeah then you probably go to Stack Overflow and um, check for like, how do I filter or how do I find it? So I could do here. First, I get my print items. So the print items are coming from, you know, my const, okay. Then it would parse them. And if it already exists, okay, how you see this filtering is not right because in my items, I should I, I think this is just item could be needs to be a book item. So if the ID already exists, then 
give an alert this item already exists in the print queue. Otherwise, push it to my local storage item. So I can remove this. And then, you know, start um, adding my uh, other methods. So else create new array. You see, <laughs> this is all also other completions. So in my opinion, the copilot will assist you and you know, it will give an awesome help for the typical use cases. Um, and I, in my opinion, it's not a replacement for, you know, software development, but it will increase productivity for the typical things, you know, adding, adding, removing items from um, arrays like a printing queue or from table or, um, you know, um, form submissions. This will increase your productivity radically. And in my experience, I reduce time on Stack Overflow, you know, um, as a software developer, you don't have all these methods in your head. You, you know, you regularly have to go to Stack Overflow. So yeah, I like it and I'm looking forward to your comments.